So can you give like a sort of a strategy 101 <laughs> for people that are feeling like it's very theoretical and I'm not quite sure, you know, when, when they're studying the stuff, they're learning it off by heart, you know, strategic principles mm-hmm. or strategic, like I must remember, you know, they learn acronyms and stuff. Like how can they make it real? It's funny you mentioned it. I think it's got to be the most overused buzzword, right? Everyone's strategic. Every role is strategic. It's not strategic. So, <laughs> so you're right. Let's get the definitions right, and then we can we can have a more intelligent conversation and kind of help people. Yeah. So strategy has got a few key points to remember. One, the timelines generally three to five years can go a bit longer to ten. So it's got a longer term view. It's deciding what you will do and what you won't do, and it also comes down to identifying your unique strengths and your core competencies of what you do best and what kind of value you can, you can deliver, um, you know, that people are willing to pay for. So mm. that applies to your day job. It applies to side hustles. It's mm. how businesses run, but it just, it just doesn't have to be high business corporate strategy. Strategy applies everywhere. Mm. And like you said, strategy comes off as this, this white glove affair with the, 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 the board members and consulting firms. I was so going to say very expensive consultants with very fancy words and stuff. Yeah. So my, my first book, I intentionally named getting shit done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just to jab them. Right. And so it's a no, I, the subtitles, the no nonsense framework for closing the strategy execution gap. So you have strategy It's where you want to go. It's, it's kind of like your guiding principle. Right. But it's got to be yeah. realistic, right? It's yeah. not It's not dreams. Mm. And then break it down to street, strategic planning. You have milestones, you have goals. Okay. Strategy execution comes down to the more granular level. Mm. Uh, month to month, week to week, day to day, defining mm. who does what by when. I'm sure this is big for your students, accountability. Mm. Um, mm. A lot of times, especially with strategy, if you don't define what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, when it's going to be done, who's going to do it, these things yeah. get missed. So yeah, it's understanding that that all the pieces that go into it and try to make it more approachable to the common person. Mm. I teach study strategy to to students, and it's always very difficult for them to understand like what's the difference between you know study plan, like my plan and my strategy. I think for for me, like part of the the purpose of the strategy is to to help guide your actions when you're going. I'm entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here because mm-hmm. things change every day. Yep. You know, you have this beautiful plan. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do that. Whether you're a business or a person, whatever the case. But then stuff happens. You know, things go wrong. Things go right. Someone adds more stuff to you. And when you're sitting in that position where you go, okay, and no, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I didn't do enough yesterday, or whatever the case is. You can go back to the strategy and go, okay, that that can guide me in terms of how to make choices on a daily yeah. basis like that should be that's like your guiding principle that you go back to and go like when I'm deciding what to do today I can use my strategic plan to identify and pull it back down to today 